have been But I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn Yeah what is going on everybody it is your boy Pete and today we're gonna to be looking at physical and chemical properties make sure by the end of this video that you also go check out the physical and chemical changes video so let's just get right started so first we're gonna be looking at physical properties now with physical properties we first look at a subdivision in physical properties called intensive properties so we're gonna take a look at the a3 Academy aluminum can and now looking at this list, all these properties stay the same regardless of how big or small that can is. Now looking at a few of these, density is how compact something is, our conductivity is the ability to conduct a current, malleability is the ability to get pressed into thin sheets, uh, luster is how something looks. So basically there are a bunch of intensive physical properties. Uh, here are some on screen. The key to remember is that if I have a huge aluminum can, these properties will stay the same. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at extensive properties. And now, extensive properties are properties where it does matter how much you have. Alright, again, we look at the A3 can. If I make this like a billion times bigger, our mass, volume, and length will change. So here, size does matter. Okay. And now we're going to look at something more harder to define, chemical properties. Hey guys, just a little side note. Physical properties are either only extensive or intensive. i just like to clarify that. Um, back to the music, guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, chemical properties are defined as properties that, when investigated, you change the internal structure. Or when you, try, when you observe a chemical property, it can only be observed by changing the structure. Whereas with physical properties, we could observe them without doing anything to them. Chemical properties can only be observed if we if we change the structure of what we are uh, looking at. So, here we have Pete's favorite substance. So, the, that yellow one in the middle is mine. On the, the other three are, uh, I think those are Wallace's. So, these are all chemical properties. Reactivity, for example. We have to change the structure of my liquid in order to figure out the reactivity. But the heat of combustion, the energy associated with fully combusting that liquid, that would be something, in order to figure out what that is, we need to combust the liquid. We change its internal structure. Flammability, if it can be ignited, we need to ignite the liquid or change its structure to figure out if it can be. All of these things are chemical properties. There are tons of chemical properties, and here the key is to remember that it is something that can only be observed if we change the structure of it. Alright guys, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and get ready for a, a slew of intense chemistry videos. I'll see you guys later.